you think of Diners Club, which is, I have a sign right here. Um, Diners Club is being the first credit card. And it, in, in some ways, it kind of is, but it's the concept actually is not, was not brand new at that time. It's not like the, the idea of credit right. devices had not existed before, but it was unique. Is that right? Yes, it, it, would, it was the first company that you can, could be used at multiple places, but it was a separate company that was like a middleman mm -hmm. that, you know, charged the store. They took a percentage of the sale. That's how, what they, what they, how they made their money, uh, plus an annual fee. And then they, they may build the customer. So it was a third party. It was the first time there was a right. third party involved, you know, in, in the, in the transaction. Now there were some, I was going to say there were some banks that started doing that around the same time. Uh, there were some bank uh, that got into the credit card business around the same time as Diners Club. But that's not Bank Bank Americard was later, right? And it was later, yes. Carte Blanche was later, I guess. Too. Right. But between those those uh, between those events, between those you know, and American Express coming out, there were other banks that attempted to to try to do what Diners Club was doing as well. Right. So like, so here's, um, I'll show a few examples. So this is a, uh, 1951 expiration Diners Club and, wow. and they were, um, booklets. So the front of the front of the card is mm -hmm. the card, but you opened it up and, uh, everywhere where the card could use was listed inside. Oh, so it's like, yeah. and, as the went along, it got thicker and thicker over time. I this is a right. an early one, but it's uh, it's it's pretty thin because it was just right. um, although it was already still uh, more just uh, using more of the city, cities than just New York. Even in 1951, they they grew pretty quickly. Um, right. And nobody. Now there's a couple of more of these that exist of this December of 51. Mm -hmm. I I don't know of anybody. There's a couple of others like this one this same year, but. As far as I know, nobody's ever found any that are older than this one. But I know there were some. That right. the what I've read, the very first one was just a card, and it just had the uh, listings on the back of the card where you could use it, because it was just a few restaurants right, right around uh, New York City, just in right. a certain area, geographic area. None of those have ever turned up yet. So supposedly the first one just hadn't. There was maybe just two hundred issued. So the. Yeah, the chances that any of those have survived are pretty low. It was more than restaurants. I mean, it started as as a restaurant. It started right? as restaurants, right. yeah, but that it changed pretty quickly, where they started adding. Uh, um, I don't stores didn't uh, stores didn't start being issued uh, using Diners Club. That was a while before stores ever took a Diners Club card because they didn't want to take another card. They wanted their customers to use their card. You know, they didn't want to be paying somebody else uh, the six percent. I think that's what they charged initially was six percent of the sale, uh, which seems I guess high now. Today about the the two two percent or three percent. Yeah, because the restaurants particularly complain because they you know usually run on low margins anyway. Yeah, right, restaurants right. do, and uh, there was a lot of pushback, but it became so important that they got to where they had to to take them, you know, or they were going to lose business. It's interesting. Yeah. But yeah. Um, by the mid 50s, they had added rental car companies, uh, you know, airlines started, to, but they, they came before the stores as far as, you know, what Diners Club, where it could be used. Now, and we'll, we'll move on. I'd, I'd love to, you know, kind of go through the, the history from, from Diners Club and, and think, talk about Bank AmeriCard, Master Charge, and, you know, American, American Express. Express. All came out. Yep. You're right, right. Very important. Um, but, the history of Diners Club. Frank McNamara, I think, is the name of the person right. that started it. Went to a restaurant with his wife, um, or this is the story. He didn't have any cash, so she had to pay. I think is the way it worked, and and because that embarrassed him, he and and some others decided to start Diners Club. But but you've spoken to the person who created that story. Is that right? And not that it, it matters whether yeah. it's true or not, because you know legend is. It, it becomes fact after a while, but what is the true story around that? Well, the 
Frank McNamara was a, uh, from what I've read, he was a interesting uh, entrepreneur. He was uh, he was trying new things, and he he had a finance company, and somehow he he had the idea just to start issuing a card. Uh, now, exactly what his motivation was, I'm not sure, but I know when they started the the card, Maddie Simmons, who was the vice president, the first vice president of marketing, he was the one that came up with the story. And I did get to speak to him four or five years ago before he passed away. And, and he, has a, he has a book that he wrote. He talks about that. But he told me all the phone. He said, yeah, I made that up. And, it, and to this day, it's still on their website. Is, you know, that's how the company started. Yeah, own it. Uh, but it's mean, just, it's just it's, too good a story, I guess. Right, right. I mean, and, it, and that story just keeps getting told as, as the fact. Um, but Yeah, just yeah. before we got on here, I would look something up about that, and I found one reference to it, and they even uh, said that he, they told him he was going to have to wash dishes, you know, which is the old joke about, <laughs> you know, if you don't have any money. But somebody actually has added that to the story, that they told him he was going to have to wash dishes, Well, you, you know, know. So it. Well, that's 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 funny. We can just keep adding to that story. Yeah, um, yeah. It almost doesn't even matter if it's true or not. It's just interesting because that story gets told over and over again, um, and that really is the origin of of cards. As a, in in a way, as far as as far as I know, unless you know something different, that's where credit cards and charge cards started. Yeah, the Diners Club and the um and those bank cards. You know, that's what started what the credit card industry is today. I hope you enjoyed that video. What a great group, the ACCCS. Make sure to check them out. The link is in the description below. The link is in the description below. Subscribe, like the video, watch the full video, and we're done.